Apple Intelligence is now here on our phones right now. And one cool new tool is Image Playground. It lets you create any image you can think of, including yourself. I'm gonna show you how to make sure it's set up correctly and then I'll take you through the steps and show you exactly how to use Image Playground on your iPhone. Tech it before you rack it, what's up geeks? I'm Kirk and maybe you saw my earlier video showing how to use Genmoji, which is also part of Apple Intelligence on the new iPhone 18.2 update. It's a pretty cool tool that lets you create your own emoji. I've got that linked in the description. You can check that link above my head as well if you wanna see that for yourself. But I wanna talk about Image Playground and first and foremost, I do wanna point out that you gotta have the 18.2 update and you do have to have an iPhone 15 Pro or up. So all the new 16 phones will work as well. Why is this? That's because all of this is done on the device itself. So it uses the processor in the phone, not the cloud, which unfortunately means that any phone that's older than the iPhone 15 Pro at this point isn't powerful enough for these Apple intelligence features. Now, once you've confirmed all that, here's how you make sure Apple intelligence is activated and turned on on your phone. So you want to jump into your home screen, go into your settings app, and you'll have a new option in settings. You'll see it right down here. It's called Apple intelligence and Siri. So hop into there and just make sure that Apple Intelligence is turned on. You can see that the first option is to turn Apple Intelligence on and off. I do want to note, the first time you turn this on, it's going to take the phone about four or five minutes to set up all the Apple Intelligence features. So don't be surprised if it does take some time before this is actually working. Okay, so now that we've got it turned on, let me jump right into the Image Playground app and show you how this works. You can see the app icon right there on your screen and let me jump right into that. Okay, so this is the Image Playground home screen. And I'm gonna start with some of the basic ways of using this, which is to use some of the suggestions that they provide. So for example, you'll see the suggestions in the bottom of the page here. I'll hit show more and I'll start with themes. Let's say I wanna do a birthday theme. Let's go over to costumes. I wanna do a chef costume. And you can see it creating that image as I make these selections. For accessories, I'll do a uh, a hard hat accessory, and then I'll go over to places and let me select a mountain theme. So now I've got those four options in there, and you'll see it took all those suggestions and sort of created what kind of looks like what we selected. There's a hard hat in there, there's a chef stuff because we've got cooking stuff in there, although there is no actual chef, and we've got mountains in the background. I don't see anything related to birthday party, so I'm not sure where that disappeared to, but I can swipe. And you'll notice when I swipe to the right, this image has what looks like birthday celebration flags in the window. You've got some more decorations maybe in this one. So that's using the pre-selected options that Apple provides. Let me show you how to make something a little bit more personalized. I'll cancel out of this and I'll create a new image and you'll see the first suggestion is actually a picture of me. You can set that up yourself. I've already set it up with a selfie and so I'll add that. Now I can go into my suggestions and start adding more. So let's say I wanna do a winter holiday theme and I wanna go ahead and make myself a hiker, hiking in the winter and I will go to places and put that in the mountains. And so this time it sort of does the same thing, but it actually uses a photo of me. You can see it doesn't create a photorealistic image. It creates more of like a cartoony image. But again, I've got multiple selections. What do you think? Does that look like me? Maybe, yes, I don't know, it's close, it's kind of cool. You can tap the little plus button in the bottom right hand corner. This will let you change if you want animation style or illustration style. And you know, you may have a preference that looks more like a pen drawn illustration, but again, kind of the same concept, the same themes. I'll change it back to animation as well. You can also use that menu to t choose a different photo or take a photo. So for example, if I want to take a selfie, I'll go ahead and tap that. I'll take a selfie like this, maybe with a little bit of a different look to see how this actually gets used in the AI and how this changes the theme and the settings I've already chosen. There you go. So again, kind of similar, it's generating more images. They look a little bit different because it is using a different selfie image of me. I kind of like that one. Once you find one you like, I kind of like that one, you've got the done button in the bottom right hand corner, go ahead and hit that. It'll save this to your library inside image playground, but then you also have the edit button, the trash button, and you have a share button on the bottom as well here. This will let you save the image to your album. You can also send it in your text messages or an email, copy it, assign it to a contact. You've got a whole lot of options there as well. Now that's an example of using a selfie picture, but mostly pre 
selected suggestions, but you don't have to do that. This is an artificial intelligence image generator. You can pretty much do whatever you wanna do. So let me jump back to the phone now and show you exactly how that would work. So if I select a picture of myself, and then I go to the bottom here where it says describe an image, and I can type in anything. Man on the moon with yellow shoes. And then I'll hit okay and see what that does. So it should take my image as well as my suggestions and create images based on that, which is exactly what it did. So I think this is where Image Playground really gets powerful. When you start putting in your own AI prompts combined with your image or another image, and it starts creating cool things like this. I think that's pretty neat. And again, if I wanna save that, I can hit done. It'll save it to my library. I can hit the share button and start sharing that with anybody I wanna share it with via email, via text messaging, or what have you. Something else I wanna point out, and I think this is really important. Watch what happens when I go to the home screen. You'll notice in the upper right-hand corner of the screen, I've got this thing in airplane mode. Everything I just showed you was done on the device. And it was actually pretty fast generating those images, but there is no cloud image generation happening here like most AI image generation tools. This is all done with the processor on the iPhone and it's all done in real time, which frankly is pretty impressive and shows you the power of these Apple processors. But in terms of privacy, it's super nice as well. I think most people who seek devices that give them privacy are gonna be happy to see that so much of this is done on the the phone itself. All right, time for you guys to have fun. Jump into Image Playground. I'm curious what you're creating with Image Playground and comment below. Is this something you think you'll actually use or is this more of just an Apple gimmick? And also I'm wondering what do you want to see next from Apple Intelligence as I'm sure they're working on more AI tools right now. If you've got questions, I love to answer them in the comments below and make sure you subscribe. It helps me grow here on YouTube. Tech it before you wreck it. I'm Kirk.